The temperature quotient is an equation that describes the change of the rate of reaction in a biological system. The idea behind this is that a certain biological reaction speeds up under higher temperatures. One example of this is the lipid oxidation in food systems. The rate at which the fats in your food product is oxidized depends on the temperature of its environment. When stored in a lower temperature, the biochemical reaction is relatively slower. But when the food item is stored at a temperature, let's say 35 degrees Celsius, lipid oxidation proceeds more rapidly. This is why most food products are advised to be stored under ambient temperature or even lower. Temperature quotient is the change of the reaction rate and is expressed by this equation. This actually has two equations and we'll discuss them both and later, later on in this video we'll show you a sample problem and we'll demonstrate how these equations are applied. So for the first equation this is used when the temperature difference between temperature 1 and temperature 2 is not 10 degrees Celsius. So Q10 x over 10 is equal to the shelf life at temperature 1 and the shelf life at temperature 2. So this first one is the shelf life at temperature 1 and this second one, the denominator, is the shelf life at temperature 2. X is the difference difference between temperature 1 and temperature 2. When using this equation, we normally assign temperature 2 as the higher one. So for example, if you have 10 degrees Celsius and 15 degrees Celsius, 15 degrees Celsius would be your T2 or your temperature 2. You might also encounter this equation in other books, not specifically in shelf life. And you, will, you would see that this term here, let me, shelf life, is replaced by the reaction rate. So it would be reaction rate at temperature 1 and reaction rate at temperature 2. Nonetheless, they are used similarly and it's completely fine. So for in this example, we are going to focus on the shelf life at two different temperatures. Again, this first equation is used when you have temperature differences not equal to 10. So if the temperature difference between T1 and T2 is 10 degrees Celsius, you can use this equation. Actually, this is just a simplified version of the first one. So if you are going to ask me, you can might as well remember the first one because when simplified, it just results to this second equation. Q10 and yeah, the shelf life at temperature 1 and divided by the shelf life at temperature 1 plus 10 degrees Celsius. So that's it. This came from the first equation wherein if you substitute x by 10, it's going to result to 1. So when simplified, it's going to result to this second equation. Let's move on to the examples below. So I have here an example wherein I have a product which has a Q10 of 1.38. And let's assume that if I store this product at 18 degrees Celsius, it would have a shelf life of 112 days. So the question now is, how long is my shelf life if I store it at 8 degrees Celsius? And what would happen if I store it at 25 degrees Celsius? So let's apply what we've learned earlier. So the first temperature is at 8 degrees Celsius. Let's write all our given temperature 1, temperature 2, shelf life at 8 degrees Celsius, and the shelf life at 18 degrees Celsius. So, as I've said earlier, we assign temperature 2 as the higher 
temperature. So let's assign it at 18 degrees Celsius and this one would be the 8 degrees Celsius. So in this sample problem, the difference between the two temperatures is 10 degrees Celsius. So we can opt to use for the second uh, equation. So let me just write it. Q10 is equal to the shelf life at temperature 1 over the shelf life at temperature 1 plus 10. Substituting our given values, we have Q10 of 1.38 is equal to the shelf life at 8 degrees Celsius. Oh, I, I forgot to write the shelf life at 18 degrees Celsius and that's 112 days. Going back to the problem, so shelf life at 8 degrees Celsius is unknown. Shelf life at 8 degrees Celsius. And the shelf life at 18 degrees Celsius is 112 days. Simplifying this, we just multiply 112 by 1.38. So 112 multiplied by 1.38, it's gonna give us 154 days. So the shelf life at 8 degrees Celsius would be 154 days. So as you can see, when you store this product at a lower temperature, the shelf life ex is extended theoretically because the reaction rate of the product is slowed down. So for the second storage condition, which is 25 degrees Celsius, again, let's first write our given at 25 degrees Celsius. This is unknown. This is 112 days. Temperature 2, the higher one, is 25 degrees Celsius. Temperature 1 is 18 degrees Celsius. Uh, Q10 is equals to 1.38. So, as you can see, the difference between the two temperatures is not 10. It's 7 degrees Celsius. And we're going to use the first uh, equation that we discussed. So, writing it down. Q10 x over 10 is equal to the shelf life at T1 uh, over the shelf life at T2. Substituting the given 1.38 raised to 7 over 10 is equal to 112 days over unknown. Let's just solve for the missing one. Shelf life at T2 would be equal to, pull up the calculator, 1.38 raised to 7 divided by 10. It's gonna give us 1.2528. So 112 days over 1.2529. Rounded it off. And it's divided 112 divided by 1.2529. It's going to give us 89 days. So the shelf life at temperature 2 would be 89.39 days. And here you can observe that the shelf life is much shorter because reaction rates that determine the shelf life of your product is much more faster now and and changes within your product that determines it quali its quality occurs much more rapid. So I hope you learned a lot. If you like this video, we have another video about Pearson Square and how to use it. Keep safe and stay healthy.